All right, guys, so it's time for more Late Night Michi audio, but I'm going to try talking a little bit higher than I normally do, but I'm not going to be like my normal whatever self because I am technically recording this audio at almost four in the morning because insomnia is a pain. But this is something I've actually wanted to do for a long time was a video on this topic. A lot of people ask me to talk about it more, but now before I talk into it as a whole, because I want to do more research in it as a whole, these are going to be just a couple of things uh, that are my experiences. And I will explain a bit more at the end of the video, but let me first get a little shill out of the way and then some explanations and then we'll get into the story times. I know, I know, it sounds like it's padding, but with a topic like fandoms and the toxicity of fandoms, I am not a video essayist, essayist, whatever they're considered on YouTube. And because of my editing software and the RAM in my computer at the time of recording this, uh, your girl literally can't make videos more than like 40 minutes or else um, she gets issues. And I don't like making a thousand parts on things, but I do want to make an entire designated video more in depth about just like toxic fandoms and the toxicity as a whole. But right now we're just doing story times. We're doing story times and some explanations to those story times. So if you do want that though, please comment down below because your engagement lets me know what it is I should be putting my time towards. And because it is December of 2020, the dumpster, the dumpster fire of the year, I am going to be doing Artmas. So the 12 days leading up to Christmas, I will be doing the 12 days of Artmas. That will be 12 videos in 12 days. And then my normal upload schedule that I've been doing for the winter holiday right now. So you'll get three videos a week after that. But yeah, I want to know so I can prep and start doing stuff in advance so I can start uh, getting to work on that. Now, anyway... First thing I need to explain, this is not every fandom, just again, ones that I have been a part of or was un- that is a window open. One second. You know when you think your window's closed, you can get ready to audio, and then it's not, and you're stuck here. So let's just uh, get into it. Anyway, again, 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 this is not specifically talking about toxic fandoms. It's about my experience being a part of toxic fandoms, toxic, toxic experiences, and a couple of things here and there. So keep keep that in mind. Things that are current views on certain instances in fandoms, just to get them out of the way before I get the questions. Fan art, fan fix, and role plays. I don't care as long as you're not hurting anybody. You do you. Draw what makes you happy. If it's a comfort thing, go ahead. If it's a posting thing, go ahead. You do you. Don't steal people's art. Yada, yada, yada. Um, I will not, I will not be discussing problematic ships in this video because that could be a whole video on its own. And I also feel like there are better people that explain it than I do, at least at the time I want to do more research into that. So again, let's just get into the story times. So the first really, really big ones to show my age, because at the time of recording this, um, I am now officially 28 years old. So back in my day, back in my fandom days, I like just, and I do mean just, missed the Tumblr curve of like being in Tumblr communities. I had a Tumblr when it came out and I did stuff with it, but I mostly just used it as an art dump and or I used it to reblog other things. Like I had a reblog spam account and I had a art account and that was pretty much it. I attempted making roleplay accounts that uh, ended up pff, crashing and burning, but I did like reading other roleplay accounts because sometimes they were fun to read and they were interesting, but my stuff. My stuff happened in the ye old days of MySpace, AOL Online, and MSN Messenger. Yahoo Messenger too, but more of the MSN. And so what I did was when I was in high school, um, MySpace was huge and big, and it was very... You, you were known for being more customizable. It is very different than how it is now. Same with how YouTube was back when I was in high school. You know, you could have personalized like color layouts and backgrounds and borders and stuff like that uh same with my spaces one of the biggest things in my spaces was getting themes and messing with your myspace and making it really professional 
And it's a lot like how people have like mood boards now, but you know, they're all, well, I mean, nice piece of still digital, but my big thing that I always talk about was I was a gigantic Naruto fan. And I've been pointing out to some of my friends that the uh, original word that we uh, used to call ourselves back in the day, I am not a Naruto fan anymore, um, or Naruto, whatever floats your boat, it was Naruto when I was a kid, um, is uh, an offensive term and I will not be using that anymore. It's really hard because it's what we had called ourselves for the longest time, but I was one of those fans. I was grossly obsessed with it. I grossly read fan art. I talked about it with my friends. My friends were really into it. But besides the, like, randomly searching up Sasuke Uchiha or Sakura Haruno, was that her last name? And it was Naruto Uzumaki, Naruto, Naruto Uzumaki, <laughs> Naruto Uzumaki a smart move, Michelle, um, you know, Gara of the Sand, all, all that stuff. We would just search them up on Facebook and, like, friend all the other themed accounts. I can't tell you how many people I friended that literally we were just, like, themed accounts. We never talked. We never did the role plays. We never did the interactions. Like, the stuff you see, like, now when people make fun of it from Tumblr and stuff like that. Or stuff on TikTok. Um, it was a very different place. And, you know, we would have, like, our top friends and our stuff like that. And people would, like, aesthetically make them like that. But we'd end up going through things where I never really had too much of an issue there. But I did, in, in the Naruto fandom, there was a whole subsect of YouTube where, like, you wanted to get in. Of the, back in the day it was RPCs. They were roleplay characters. And they were done using really bad MS Paint edits of screenshots. Yes, I was one of those people. And Photo Bucket. Oh, glorious photo bucket. You were like our godsend. It was, I just need to explain how different it is now compared to how it was because almost all of my instances of bad fandom stuff happened realistically in person. They didn't happen online because um, I was going through TikTok and a lot of people were telling about their stories and they were all like these online interactions. People were doxing people. People were sending hate mobs to people and I'm sitting here like, did I just barely dodge a bullet? Of course not, because then that would be the point of this video. Now, a lot of my friends at the time were nerds, and I've talked about this constantly on my channel, that when I was in high school, I had a very, very, very large group of friends. Now, as an adult, I realized we were not friends. It was more of a large group of acquaintances and acquaintances and acquaintances. We all kind of stood each other because uh, we were the anime nerds and anime wasn't cool back in high school. And so we all like stuck together. But when I think about it, it was like a group of like 15 of us. And that's a big group of friends. But it also came with a lot of gatekeeping, like a lot of gatekeeping. Because I, you know, I have ADHD and I would hyper fixate on things. And I remember there was a very strict time where past the Facebook era and the like photo bucket era and the time where I was actually getting into my art and the stories and I was kind of dipping away from fandoms for a bit, there was like a dry spell in anime, unlike how it is now where it's just everywhere, you know? So it was more where I was focusing, I was focusing more on games and characters, but then I found people, you know, who were more on like on my same page. But when I was in, um, in our nest, a uh, little anime weeb nest, uh, we would have a lot of gatekeeping where like, we all kind of like had to like the same shows. And I remember like me and my buddy John, we weren't really like a, a part of that. You know, I remember when certain animes came out and everyone was talking about them and I was just like, uh, it's not really my, I'm not a fan. Uh, uh. And it was like so weird because it's all anybody wants to talk about, you know, were those certain shows at the time. And we would be like, we'd like go hang out at people's houses and all they would want to do is watch that show. And if we tried to suggest something different, we were like wrong. And it was really, really like odd and kind of like isolating, especially when it's like, I would find shows that I would want to talk about and I'd want to look into. And it wasn't like it is now where I could find tons of things on it. You know, I remember being, I was the only anime fan in our group that liked horror anime. I loved like Higurashi when it came out and Elfin Lead, Elfin Lead. I, 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 ooh, Elfin Lead. Um, that is a very problematic show and it did not age well. And I sat back and I rewatched it recently and I'm like, why did I like that? But 
there's a lot of things like that where I couldn't really relate to a lot of my friends, you know? So where would I go? Where's the point of the story? 10 minutes into the story time, I'd go to anime cons. I'd go to anime expo with my friends. And it, it the, the magical time of Nyan Cat and Glomping and the ponies was a very, very different time than how it is now. I mean, right now, because Six Mike Ground Boy, we're not really doing cons. But you would see, like, clusters of cosplayers, like, pull other people into it and pull, like, the normies into it. And that's a huge part of being toxic because you would have, like, teenagers with their parents, you know, or some teenagers by themselves, and, you know, you could tell when there'd be, finger quote, like a normie. And I'm not using that to be, a, like, insulting. It's, you know, they, again, back in the early 2010s, it wasn't like how it is now. Um, you know, so it's like, oh, yeah, I don't really watch this. Uh, what's going on? Why are these kids, like, running up to you and doing these finger signs? And why are people just random strangers running up and just hugging you and then running away because they were very violent same with why yaoi paddles got you know banned because you would see people okay who would just see a naruto cosplayer and then be like oh well i'm a sasuke and that's a naruto i do not know that person but i'm gonna <laughs> run up and just uh glomp them or kiss them or violate them because it's funny and it wasn't like some people were like all about that and they played along and they were all for it and other people were like me sometimes we were just in like low-key cosplay and we didn't want to get pulled into things we didn't want to get pulled into photo shoots but we also didn't really have um the personalities and the guards we do now to like you know say something and it was a very awkward experience and it was very uncomfortable and you know I would see people get like thrust away from families and friends like like and they'd just be like okay I guess that's normal bye bye and it's not and I'm looking up and I'm hearing more horror stories now of like things that happen to people or like the the you know the cosplayers that like wanted to cause anarchy which is one of the biggest ones we're going to talk about here and I do feel bad but I was never a part of the Homestuck fandom. If you loved it and it was your, you know, your jive, your, 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 your bread and butter, good for you. I'm happy you enjoyed it. But I had two instances where it was ruined for me. The, the, the last one was really bad, but the first one was I had a bunch of friends that were in it at the time and a lot like JoJo's was our adventure. They took it way too seriously to when, like, whenever they would describe it to people, it was, like, this super amazing, like, epic. And you, you need to, like, you need to understand it. And it's, like, so deep and physical. Tongue-tied. You know, it's, it's, it's got such deep meaning to it. And it's, it's got, like, it's got layers. Like an onion. And I, like, remember watching it and reading it. And I'm like, what is this? I hate, I hate the text speech thing. I don't get the interactivity. What's going on? Where are the, the trolls that I keep seeing? And they're like, oh, those are aliens. And I'm like, oh, wait, there's aliens in it? Like, it's so weird. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, it, it, I just, it wasn't my jive. And I had a lot of my friends like still push it and push it and push it. And I was like, no, it's like, I don't care. I don't care. Like, I never pushed my th my hobbies onto people. Like, uh, yes, if I was hyper fixated with something, do I talk about it? And do I want people to try it? Yes. But I don't push it because I had it pushed on me. And I know I had it pushed on a lot of other people, you know, to where I'm like, hey, I like this thing. You want to try it? I mean, it's, it's, it's cool. It's like X, Y, and Z. Like, okay, I'll try it. Then sure, let's try it. But I'm never like, mm, give it a second chance or mm, do this. It's like, okay, well, if you didn't like it, you didn't like it because people are different beings. Wow, so weird. But... I bring this up because at that point, Facebook was dead. Um, uh, MySpace was dead. You know, everybody was on Tumblr. All the stuff was going on. And so that's when the Homestuckers like took over like Anime Expo. And I was still in high school at the time. I was, st I was still a minor when this happened to me. I might have been 17, but it still counts. Okay. And I remember it very clearly. I went with a friend. It was one day. I was going to this con one day. I had been sitting out in the heat all day. I was wearing a red dress. I was feeling cute. Um, I was with a couple friends. And, you know, all of a sudden, there's some homestuckers. And we're, like, going to go do something. And uh, the one, I, I know it's Gamzee now. Uh, I didn't, 
And I literally learned that from my friends. And I've talked about this story multiple times in my in my like live streams and stuff. But I'm like, you know what? I'm finally going to just put it into video form. Ran up to me. And this was a man. Very clearly a, an adult man. It wasn't like a teenager. Uh, and this man came up to me. A minor. Licked my face. And then honked a horn in my face. And then like laughed away. And I was just like, uh, uh. Here I am, having no idea how to process what, what the heck just happened to me. And my friend that was with me laughed so damn hard. And I was so embarrassed and so upset. But I, I again, I talk about how back in high school, Michi is not who I am now. Because uh, who I am now probably would have cried, screamed, and, you know, gotten security. But me then was just like, uh, like, oh my god, that's so in character. That's so funny. And they were like laughing about it. And I was like... Oh, ha ha. Oh, I, 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 I didn't know that. I, uh, and I still think about it from time to time. Hence why it was, you know, well over 10 years ago. And it still messes me up because that was just one instance I had. And a lot of people who were in the fandom, like, thought that stuff was okay. Granted, not everybody, but a lot of people did. Same with, like, um, like you know, I know the My Little Pony fandom was really big about that. Oh God, don't even get me started on the supernatural stuff. But it like really got me to stay away from fandoms after that. It's where like I would like something, I would Google stuff, but I would like keep it to myself. Oh, if I found things, I would do it with friends. You know what I mean? And I am like huge. If you follow me on Twitter, I'm huge into the IDV fandom right now. And again, this isn't so bad, but there's also things where it's like, I, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get how people have this little thing in their brain that just shuts off all of a sudden when it's something you like hyperfixate or like and you just like ignore all of society because you are that character when you're in cosplay. It, just because you're in cosplay doesn't mean other people consent for you to like violate them in your cosplay, you know? Same thing for other fandom stuff. It's like I I was seeing stories of people talking about how, like, you know, they were going with a partner and uh, they were, like, you know, couple cosplaying or something. And they would have people just run up to them and be like, oh my god, you're so-and-so. Like, let's go take pictures. Let's do this. Or, you know, ha ha ha, look, it's, it's so-and-so or whatever. And it's like, it's not okay. It's not okay. Especially even more so, and I shouldn't have to say this, when you're adults being creepy to kids... Oh my god, I saw this at conventions so many times where creepy adults of both genders, by the way, it's not just one-sided, so keep that in mind. Or, I forgot people get mad when we say both genders, my bad. Um, you know, all genders out there. Um, when you get out there and you're just like, oh, <laughs> well... I'm a Deku, and that's Bakugo, so I'm gonna, like, ignore, like, the fact they look like a child, and just run up and, like, you know, try to be their friend, or vice versa, because I also like my hero, you know, and it's one thing when you see younger kids, like, doing it in the innocent sense, because some of it is innocent, they're just having fun and exploring it, and other people use it to take advantage of people, I have seen just so many horror stories of terrible things happening at cons and I'm just constantly like so grateful that that stuff didn't happen to me and that the terrible experience I had with fandoms was only a couple of things and then oh, the incident with the fucking Gamzy. And so what ended up happening, you know, was I would stay like away from things and when like, in the Identity uh, 5 fandom and stuff, there are some people with some, like, really aggressive negative hot takes. And I sit here and I'm just like, man, I just want to have some fun. Like, what is going on here? And, like, some people get so worked up and so into things. And they have to either, like, have people be on, like, their same energy level or they have to tear them down. It's, like, no in between and I don't understand it. And I really want to, but... <sighs> there's my terrible story time of a terrible incidence I had. Uh, but please keep in mind, just because you like something and you're all about it doesn't mean other people are. You know, vice versa. Um, 
y y yeah. So <laughs> there we go with that video. Um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe because we have to feed the bot. Because now that I've been saying that and people have been joining the feed the bot team, um, again, my analytics have been going up and things have been showing and people have been staying subscribed. It's amazing. And I hate that I have to keep saying that. But anyway, I love you guys so, 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 so much. Uh, let me know if you want me to, again, like I said, do that more in-depth thing about fandoms and stuff later on. Um, or if you want, I actually know my friend Peaches does this. Would there be any chance, this is an honest question, um, if I made like an email or something and you guys wanted to email me your toxic fandom stories, if you wanted me to share them to you, again, proper credit, if you want me to credit or you want to be anonymous and just share your story, I will happily use my platform for that, but I need to know if like there people want to do that. So anyway, thank you as always to my Patreon patrons. Let me know about the, the other questions I have asked down below. And as always, guys, I will see you see ya next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>